Hi, today a little bit about how we use the bow on the violin. So, first of all, take your violin up in the correct violin posture that I have showed you before. So the violin must, must follow your shoulder, direction of shoulder. So the violin is going a little to the side, not frontwards, but sidewards, yes? And um, I support the, the violin with my violin hand. Uh, the hand I hold like this, putting in here against the violin shoulder and sliding down to the stop. Yeah. And just for a start, let the finger point upwards and the thumb only a little bit sticking up over the fingerboard. Yes. So, and now the bow. I told you about the, the posture of bow hand before. So you now you have to put your bow hand correctly checking it out as i as i showed you before so i mark the bow the middle of my bow so this i will put on my second string that is the a string the first string is e so i start with a today and i put it here just at the the, the middle of bow i marked it out so now the posture of my arm is like you see uh, my elbow Underarm and overarm is like um, making a square shape there. And the, the elbow has to be a little under the, the hand, not over, but a little under the wrist. So if I just start like, uh, like I had a little motor in my bow uh, elbow, my bow arm elbow. So I start that and I start with stroking downwards towards the floor. So just small strokes, small and fast strokes. Like, like you can use a rhythm like violin is playing, violin is playing. So you see uh, the bow, um, is, uh, the bow um, movement is starting from the elbow, right? Not the, not the shoulder, but the elbow. And just using a little, uh, a little bow on the middle. Just a not, not a lot of bow, but, but small strokes, middle bow. Uh, and only using the, the bow arm elbow here. Also, you can practice like this. When you take up your, when you lift up your, your bow arm without a bow in there, you just put your hand in front of your nose, like here and relaxing your hand. So if I want to do a violin stroke, like an air violin playing stroke, so I, I push my hand forward and back. And the, and the movement is coming from my elbow. So violin is playing, violin is playing. Just try to relax your wrist. Violin is playing. Violin is playing. So I can actually practice that stroke, bow stroke without my violin. And this way I can concentrate and focus absolutely on my, my movement and the feeling of my, my movement that I'm not going to uh, risk using the shoulder, the shoulder joint, but I want to use my the elbow, the elbow joint. So from here, not from here. Yes, so again, I want to show on my violin and I put the, the bow hand, yes, checking it up and then resting my bow, resting my bow. So you have to rest, relaxed, not holding too hard on your bow and not holding too soft on your bow. Actually, the bow hold is like a, um, a very comfortable um, hand when you're greeting people with your hand, not too hard or not too soft, just in the middle there. So, and I start downwards. Now, when I have put, put my bows correctly, I checked it out. Then I put my concentration and my focus on the elbow in my bow. So. <laughs> And might be you see the violin bow is going a little crooked and then you 
straighten it up there. It's good to practice this in front of a mirror, then you can easily see in the you see yourself in the right posture in the mirror, right? And if you want to change the string, you just lift up your arm or lower your arm. And while you're doing that, maybe you can you can kind of sense the strings under your bow. So and, and that then the exercise is just to stop when you feel another string, yeah? I can try this string next to the A, a little lower string, the D string. And then I can move my bow to the E trying here. Yes, lifting up my arm, um, I want to try the deeper string, the G string. So this way also you can check out all the strings and try to feel the strings under your, your bow as you are moving over. And just make a stop somewhere and if your bow, now my bow landed a little uh, on against the frosh here, so I want it in the middle. I just change that, lift and change, right? So. so if anything goes wrong or you end up here on the, on the tip of bow, you just take the bow off and put it on again. And also remember to relax your violin arm. Of course, I trained the violin for me um, for many years, so my my violin arm is pretty strong there. But as a beginner, the violin arm will get tired, and after uh, only a few minutes. So just remember to put take the uh, the violin down and rest a little, and then and then practice again, right? So. And of course, the angle of the violin is very important to the straight bowing. Because if I put my violin this way, you see the bow is crooked. If I put it this way, it's correct. And if I t take, push my elbow backwards, then also this will happen. I have to, I have to look for that, you know, that, that shape of a, a square, corner of a square here. In the elbow and the elbow motor is right there yes put the bow and then uh, direct your focus to the elbow bow arm the elbow motor there and start downwards changing string lowering or lifting i try the g string straight on the middle so like this uh, and uh, you you just try uh, over and over again until you find that your your sound is getting better and better yeah it needs a little practice there you know every start needs to go slow and practice again and again but soon I think you will get at it if you just use the time to spend the time practicing a little just a few minutes every day maybe twice or three times. <laughs>